ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯಂ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಾವೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿ ನಾವೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವೈ ಏ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸ ಬಂತಾದಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡಸ್ಯಾಂತಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಲೋಕಾ ಸಪ್ತ ದ್ವೀಪಾಚ ಮೇ ದಿನ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ ತ್ರೈಗುಣ್ಯ ವಿಷಯ ವೇದ ನಿಸ್ತ್ರೈಗುಣ್ಯ ಭವಾರ್ಜುನ ನಿರ್ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸತ್ವಸ್ಥ ನಿರಿಯೋಗ ಕ್ಷೇಮ ಆತ್ಮವಾನ್ ವಿಷಯ ಫಾರ್ ವೇದ ಆರ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಅದೇ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರಿಗುಣ ತ್ರಿಗುಣ ಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ತ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ mixture of three gunas that's what is the subject matter of veda whatever can be objectified actually whatever is a drishya prapancha by any of the sense organs whatever you can objectify what has to be gained whether here or hereafter all that is the subject matter of vedas and vedas here is karma kanda arjuna he arjuna nistare gunya bhava you go beyond that so therefore you don't focus on those don't try to focus on yoga kshema as he says later ನಿರ್ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಶೋಕ ಮೋಹ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ದೋಸ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶೀತ್ ಶೋಕ ಮೋಹ ಶೋಕ ಮೋಹ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಸೊ ಗಿವ್ ದೋಸ್ ದ್ವಂದ್ವ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸತ್ವಸ್ಥ ಅಂಡ್ ನಿತ್ಯತ್ವೇನ ಸತ್ವೆ ತಿಷ್ಟತಿ ಸೊ ನಿತ್ಯ ಸತ್ವಸ್ಥ we did a different uh, vigra there but i am just explaining the meaning here so and yoga kshema is yoga is what uh, apraptasya prapti and kshema is praptasya rakshanam so go beyond that and become niryoga kshema and atmavan atmavan means one who is composed who has a com- composed antakarana therefore atma antakarana viveka buddhi asya asti iti atmavan or atma parmatma dheyatvena asya asti iti atmavan this is another meaning we saw from shankaranandi so he is asking arjuna to go beyond his shoka moha finally sarveshu vedokteshu karmasu yani uktani anantani phalani tani na apekshyante chet so na apekshyante chet means if 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 these are not expected what are not expected sarveshu vedek vedokteshu karmasu in all these karmas which are mentioned in the vedas whichever result is mentioned and what results are those we have seen anantani avyavasai nam anantani the ananta phala which are mentioned there and people get lost in those yamimam pushpitam vacham all those were said getting carried away by the words of the karma kanda or someone who paraphrases that and attracts you those karmas lead to phala what kind of phala ananta phala there is no limit to the kind of phala that you can get from uh, karma kanda and this is has been our business we have engaged forever in these kind of karmas now even not even those but laukika karmas and they take you take you to endless goals except for nitya phala which is your own swarupa anything that can be gotten from karma only karma can give but karma cannot give you limitless result therefore sarveshu vedokteshu karmasu yani anantani phalani uktani whichever phalas are mentioned there ananta limit unlimited phalas not limitless phala single phala limitless nitya but many fold results which are unending so many results themselves are not unending but the variety of results are unending tani tani phalani if those phalas are not your focus are not expected na apekshante chet means if you do not expect them 
then kimartham tani ishwaraya iti anushthiyante iti ucchate. Now if you ask, then why should I do these karmas at all? You are saying this is my dharma, you are saying uh, uh, these are the results, I will get swarga if I win over, if I don't get swarga then I will uh, be able to win the war and if I lose the war, I will get swarga, if I win the war, I will get uh, the kingdom to enjoy. Now, you are telling me these are the results and now you are telling me if you give up these and then do it as karma yoga. Now I am asking you the question, if all these karmas, uh, all these which are mentioned in Vedas, whether it is my dharma or not, if I do not expect the result, then why should I do? Why will anyone do? In fact, Purva Mimamsa says that um, there is a oft quoted Vakya, which Bhashyakar also quotes somewhere, uh, just trying to recall. Hmm. Just a second, Mudo Opina Pravartate, there is a statement. Mudo Opina Pravartate, trying to recall the earlier part. Hai. Yeah, Prayojanam Anuddishya. So, Prayojanam Anuddishya, Mudo Opina Pravartate. So there is a statement there as uh, Pura Mimamsaka says, which Bhashyakara also agrees in Laukika, those who are worldly for them. Prayojanam Anuddishya, without keeping result in mind, Prayojanam is phala here, phalam Anuddishya, Moodhopina Pravartati, even a dull witter, one, one who is dull witted, even that kind of a person will not engage in any karma because everyone does karma for phala and you are saying that don't expect any phala, then why will anyone do karma? That is the question. Kimartham tani ishwaraya iti anushtiyante, then why should it be done and now you are saying you do it and offer the results as well as karma to ishwara. Ishwaraya idam namama, so you give, give, offer the karma as well as the results to ishwara. Iti anushti yante, why should they be done iti uchyate? That is being explained here, Shrunu. Please listen clear, carefully, tells Krishna to Arjuna. Yavan artha udapane sarvatasam plutodake, tavan sarveshu vedeshu brahmanasya vijanataha. So, yavan artha, arthaha udapane yavan, yavan is an avyaya, yavat. Yavan Arthaha Udapane Sarvatasam Plutodake Tavan again goes as a compliment to Yavan Sarveshu Vedeshu Sarveshu Vedeshu Saptami Bhuvachana Brahmanasya Shastik Vachana and Vijanat Vijanat means one who knows Vijana Satranta Pada Shashti Ekavachana. So Brahmanasya and Vijanataha are in Samana Dikaranyam. Yavan Artha Udapane, Udapane, Udapane means in, in a well, in, in well water or a, a small water body. So one who wants to drink water, he is looking especially in uh, India in May. In many of the villages where they their drinking water is from the well, all water is from the well, especially drinking water, there the well water dries up in May. We have very little left. So you have to wait for a good while for to draw even uh, one uh, this thing, one vessel full of water. So Udapani in that kind of well water, whatever Artha, Artha is Prayojana, as much, Yavan means as much, as much purpose. Artha prayojana means purpose. As much purpose is there in well water. Purpose in well water for the purpose of drinking or whatever that purpose is, drinking or to bathe, etc. In well water. Tavan, Tavan Sarvata Sampluto the Kyapiasti. So as Yavan Udapane Yavan Artha Asti, Yavan. Yavan Artha, as much purpose is there in the well water, 
सो मच पर्पस इज देअर इन सर्वत संप्लुत ऑल्सो सर्वत संप्लुत संप्लुत इज वॉट सम्यक प्लुत प्लुत यू सी प्लुत इज दीर्घ मीनिंग वी सी इज ह्रस्व दीर्घ एंड प्लुत प्लुत इज त्रैमात्रिका इन इन अटरन्स एंड प्लुत मीन्स विच विच इज अूज बॉडी ऑफ वॉटर उदक संप्लुदक इज संप्लुतोदक इज अूज वॉटर बॉडी लाइक अ पॉन्ड और अ वॉटर लाइक अ लेक और अ रिवर और इवन एन ओशियन सो वॉट एवर ओशियन कैनॉट बी कंपेर्ड विथ वेल वॉटर पर से इन इन दिस एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक दिस एज अ एज अ रिवर वॉटर और समथिंग देन यू कैन कंपेयर इथ विथ ओशियन एज वेल अनलेस यू वॉन्ट इट फॉर ड्रिंकिंग बट यू कैन से दैट वेन दैट वेल इज इमर्स इन अ फ्लड ऑफ वॉटर completely that can also be taken as sarvata samplutho daka so whenever uh, you find some purpose in well water whatever purpose say uh, to drink you need a little water and you are waiting for the well to fill up but there is a lake nearby you can drink water from there so that same purpose is served when there is more water obviously this uh, small the purpose in small water body is served in a larger water body that is the example here and in the example i exemplified tavan sarveshu vedeshu so yavan sarveshu vedeshu rather yavan sarveshu vedeshu arthah arthah as an anurti here also tavan brahmanasya vijanatah api arthah bhavati so udapane yavan arthah bhavati तावान सर्वत संप्लुतो दके भवती और वी कैन से उदपाने भवती तथा यथा और यावान अर्थ उदपाने भवती तावान सर्वत संप्लुतो दके अपि भवती सो दैट इज एडिया दैट मच At at least that much. At least that that much, much meaning purpose is there in Sarvata Sampluto Daka also. And in the exemplified similarly, so here you can say Yatha, Yatha to make that it is a comparison here. Yatha, similarly, Tatha here. तथा सर्वेशु वेदेशु दिस त्रैगुण्य विषय वेद विच वॉज सेड अर्लियर इन दोज वेद आज वॉट एवर पर्पस यू हैव दैट सेम पर्पस इज मेट बाय अ ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण हू ब्रह्म जाना थी थी ब्राह्मण वन हू नोज विजानता सो इट इज क्लैरिफाइड बाय सेइंग विजानता वन हू नोज ब्रह्म हाउ विथ साक्षात्कार ब्रह्म ब्रह्म अहम अस्मी वन हू नोज ब्रह्म एज वन सेल्फ फॉर हिम दी एंटायर पर्पस ऑफ दी वेदाज इज सर्व सो इफ यू आज वॉट वाय शुड आई डू इट फॉर ईश्वराय ईश्वराय अनुष्ठी बिकॉज आई विल नॉट गेट फला ओ यू विल नॉट गेट दोज फलाज यू थिंक वॉट एवर आर देर इन दिस सर्वेशु वेदोक्तेशु कर्म कर्मसु वॉट एवर फला इज गिवन दोज यू आर थिंकिंग दैट यू विल नॉट गेट बट यू विल गेट something better than that where there is an antarbhav of all this the results of those are included there is they are included in this result so the purushartha siddhi the fourth purushartha is moksha that is achieved and all the struggle of the earlier three purushartha is for ananda which is there in moksha that nitya ananda you will meet and the person who knows brahmanasya vijanatah tatha sarveshu vedeshu or we'll go at yavan yavan tatha sarveshu vedeshu yavan arthah bhavati tavan arthah brahmanasya विजानतः भवति सो वन हू नोज फॉर हिम द सेम रिजल्ट अक्रूज सेम पर्पस इज अटेन्ड फॉर हिम फॉर हिम 
the results are attained automatically whichever result is there in the Vedas, in all the Vedas because they are giving you limited phala what the Vijanan gets it, one who knows the Jnani gets it, that phala is more than the all the results put together because it is Nitya phala and that is the purpose of all the Vedas also. Therefore, Ishwaraya idam, if you do the karma by giving up its results, then the Chitta Shuddhi that will come to you and then thereby facilitate Jnana Utpatti, that will bring this kind of a result, which is Nitya and all the other results which you have given up, they will be included in one Brahma Jnana. This is the idea in this shloka. So, uh, here this is a Samasa. So, this Samasa would be Sarvata, Sarvata is Sarvatra, that kind of a meaning. Um, Sarvata Samplutodake. Just let me check uh, if I can find a good Samasa. I don't have to make one here. 46. Okay, Sarvatra Samplutodakam. Yes, yes, a Sarvata Samplutodaka. Hmm. Yeah, so he says Sarvataha, Sarvataha, Samplutam, Samplutam, Udakam, Yasya, Yasya, Tasmin. So Yasya is any water body. So whichever, for whichever body, water body there is uh, Udaka which is Sarvata Samplutam which has you know flooded, flooded through and through everywhere, flooded as in or filled up, filled up everywhere that kind of a water body where the water is filled up everywhere in that, in that the purpose of the others are as well served a small water bodies and here actually um, the uh, Although singular is used, here Sarveshu Vedeshu is used as a plural, here Udapane is used as a singular, but here also it can be taken as a Jato Ekvachanam, as a, uh, as a group it is in, in, in a group of uh, water bodies, you can take that kind of a meaning, uh, even Shankarandi does that, he, in Shankarandi it is said uh, Jato Ekvachanam, so in all sorts of water bodies, whatever purpose is there, that is met in an ocean, he gives an example of ocean, he says that if you take a take a dip in uh, Ganga or Yamuna or whatever, that finally it will go and meet the ocean. So one who takes a dip in ocean with that kind of a sentiment, he will have bathed in all the uh, all the uh, rivers, all such rivers. Tavacha, but he says in contrast, Tavacha, and for you, so what should you do now? Tavacha, karman nevadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhu. Mate Sangosto Karmani. So he says, Karmani Eva. Karmani Eva. By Eva Kara, he is saying, in your case though, since Chitta Shuddhi is not attained, he tells Arjuna that Karmani, Karmani Eva. Oh, this is difficult. Karmani Eva. Adhikaraste, Adhikaraha, Te, Te Tava. So for you, Ma Phaleshu Kadachana, Ma Karma Phala Hetuhu, Bhuhu, Bhu is Abhuhu, because Mangi Lung and then this. Uh, Adagama vanishes when there is a mang, mang yoga, na mang yogi. Na sangha astu akarmani. Mate sangha astu akarmani. Astu is lot lakara. So here karmani in karma alone. Adhikaraha te tava for you. Ma Phaleshu, Phaleshu Kadachana, Kadachana, Saptamyarthe, Avyaya, and Kadachana, 
and kala saptam here so not in at any point of time in phala in phala there is no adhikara you can't say that i have done this uh, karma therefore i should get that phala because you do not know what is your earlier karma you do not know not only that right now you do not know what is the circumstantial effect of this is uh, lung madhya purusha ek vachana sorry ek vachana madhya purusha ek vachana and then ma te sangah astu akarmani this is lot lakara madhya purusha uh, prathama purusha ek vachana akarmani so he is saying when you do any karma that is one contributor to your phala just because you have done karma you should get particular phala in particular measure none of that that is guaranteed because your phala at any point of time is not based on only your karma and not only based on your karma and not only that karma there can be other karmas which are influencing which are your own karma done earlier and what are the other possibilities other possibilities even now someone else may be working with or against you for that whatever karma you are doing somebody else is also working and the example given is let's say uh, a particular farmer has let's say started some work and he has sown some seeds and he wants uh, rain to take place he wants a particular amount of rain to come so he is praying there so his karma is what he has sown his seeds and he is waiting for the result he wants a little rain to be there other someone somewhere he is constru- he is actually uh, uh, not somewhere in that particular area itself he has let's say started some construction work of his house uh, a village house and he has opened up his roof he does not want rain to take place for the next few days now this earlier person farmer is praying for rain this chap who is getting his house repaired does not want rain because uh, you know his his roof is open to the sky so who should get what they want depends on their own karma so one who is praying that i do not want rain if his karma is better then there will be no rain and if the per- farmer is praying that he wants rain but his karma is not good enough he may not get rain so whose phala should be there both will say that i have prayed and i need phala or both will say that i have done my karma i need phala that will not work you because each one is contributor only to karma not to phala therefore adhikara is in what in karma you can choose to do you can choose not to do you can choose to do in a different way so bhashyakara says elsewhere that only in karma you have adhikara hit says in a different context with jnana where he is talking about uh, uh, based on the vastu or based on karma what control do you have on what so uh, in karma you have you have a say as to what will i do of course limited by circumstances but do you do have a choice and you have a say on how much and how will i do it however that that is only one contributor which will influence the results you do not know which are the other factors that are at, are at play and you do not have adhikara in them therefore you do not have any any adhikara in result so result is a sum effect of not only your karma at that time your karma earlier also which is going to influence or uh, create obstacles or facilitate a good result for you or and on top of that there may be others who are involved which you do who you don't have any control over and this is just an example there were so many factors at play therefore karmani ev only in karma you have adhikara you have a say say for you ma phaleshu kadachana kadachana never do you have a say in results in results you, uh, you do not have any adhikara if you get you are lucky that's all because lucky in the sense what right now you will say that i am lucky that i got what i wanted or i didn't get what i want that is also luck but that's bad luck or you may get something entirely different or not opposite something different maybe better also maybe worse therefore 
results will be there but you cannot say that I want only this result and in this measure I want it. You have no say there and never do you have it, not only now. It, so it is not that for you alone, for everyone it is so, karmani eva, but for you he is specifically teaching him that you have a say here as to results. You don't know what is going to happen, whether Bhishma, Dronacharya, Ityadi, they are go what will happen to them, you cannot have a say right now and whether you will get Papa or Punya, that you have no Adhikara in. Therefore, Te Karmani Eva Adhikaraha Asti Bhaleshu Kadachana Maastu. So, Astu you have to bring from here. Or Asti you can say Astu itself, Adhikara. Let there not be, let there be. So, Astu I will just say, Asti or Astu both are okay here. Since Astu is here, we can reuse. So, Te Karmani Eva Adhikara Astu, Phaleshu Kadachana Adhikara Maastu. Adhikara ha Maastu. Maastu. So, ma, Maang governs Lung. No, sorry, lung, mangi lung, or it governs uh, uh, load. As in, it brings in load or lung, this mang. Therefore, here you see astu. Astu, you see, this is load lakara. Whereas here you have uh, abhuhu. This bhu is actually abhuhu, which has lost his adagama. Lost as in, it has never got the adagama because of mang yoga. Abhu, this is, is equal to Abhu. In Lung. So, te karmani eva adhikaraha astu. Phaleshu adhikara kadachana mastu. So, adhikara kadachana mastu. Never should it be there. It is not there, actually not should it be there, it is mastu means, the, uh, here also although it is lot, still with mang yoga it will have just the meaning that it is not there, that's why it is just negating, ma plus astu or ma plus abhuhu, whatever it is, it is just a negation of uh, whichever verb is being used, the meaning of the dhatu, it is being uh, negated. So, te, therefore what te, akarmani, a karmani in not doing karma. Now, if you ask, then should I not do karma at all? No, you should do. Therefore, a karmani, te a karmani, uh, sangaha mastu. Let there not be sangha with a karma. Means what? Do not lace it out thinking that. Anyway, I am not going to get phala, so kim prayojanam. Don't think of that. Do the activity, isharayadam. So, do it. And then, uh, before that, he said another thing. He says that, what happens is that when you are not doing karma uh, as an offering to the Lord. So, here he says that, isharaya. Why don't you do karma and offer to Bhagawan? So, he says that, if you claim phala, why should you not claim Adhikara in, so Kadachana Mastu means what? Let there not be, when you are saying, let there not be any Adhikara in Phala, if you claim Adhikara, you, it is not that you are going to get results as you want, but what will happen is that you will become, he says, Karma Phala Hetuhu, you will become a Hetu for Karma Phala. Hetu means what? Since you have claimed that Karma and Phala is your own, Therefore, you will not only have adhikara in phala the way you want, anyway you don't have, but that phala will come and accrue to you. So, it will cause punar janma. Since you have owned up kartrutvam and bhoktrutvam also, since you want that phala, if you do not offer the results to Bhagawan, if you claim that as your own, that karma you claim as your own, you have become a karta, the phala also you claim as your, as your own, then you have become a bhokta. So, if you are a karta, you will definitely be a bhokta. 
even if you do not want it you will become a bhokta then you will have to keep on taking janma the way you have been taking janma till now therefore karma phala hetu hu ma abhu hu you do not become a hetu for karma phala meaning what do not become a karta of karma do not become a bhokta as in don't have the kartrutva bhava bhoktrutva bhava just drop the kartrutva bhava if you can if you do that then the phala will not accrue to you and how do you do that by karma yoga by offering karma as well as the results to the lord so he says here karma phala hetu hu ma bhu hu ma bhu tom ma bhu here it is tom ma bhu tom karma phala hetu ma bhu do not become a cause for karma phala so i added this tom do not become the cause for karma phala this is what karma phala hetu hetu is this person who is cause so do not become the cause so you are the cause you do not become the cause therefore it's tatpurusha and what kind of tatpurusha karma na phalam karma phalam and karma phalasya hetu or karma phalana hetu therefore shashti tatpurusha twice karma na phalam and then karma phalana hetu do not become the cause for karma phala yadi karma phala prayuktena na kartavyam karma katham tari kartavyam if this is not the way to do karma so uh, i have already explained that ishwaraya since the, there was a sangati which said ishwaraya why should i do it for ishwara but now he is clarifying in the next shloka itself yadi karma phala prayuktena na kartavyam karma as engaged with the result karma phala the karma should not be done in that manner then in which manner should it be done katham tari katham in the sense in which manner sh- should the karma be done karma kartavyam uchyate that is being answered here yoga stakkur karmani sangan tyaktva dhananjaya siddhya siddhyo samo bhutva samatvai yoga uchyate the yoga stha kuru do karma but how yoga stha kuru karmani yogastha yogastha san being being this kind of a person what kind of a person yogastha who is yogastha yoge tishtati yoge karma yoge tishtati upapada tatpurusha tishtati iti iti yogastha kuru lotlakara madhyama purusha ek vachana do karma engaged in yoga yoga and what is that uh, karmani karmani kuru therefore karmani tom tom kuru tom karmani kuru this is dvitiya bhavachana karmani kuru yoga sasan and how what is that he dhananjaya he dhananjaya sangan tyaktva yogastha so what is yoga yogastha how what is yogastha yoga tishtati and what is that yoga karma yoga so therefore sangan tyaktva tyaktva having given up having given up what tyaktva having given up sangam karma for tyaktva tej so therefore he says he धनंजय धनम जयती थी धनंजय वी हैव सीन दिस मेनी टाइम्स सो धनंजय हे धनंजय संगम त्यक्त्वा त्यक्त्वा योगस्थः सन् कर्माणि कुरु and what is this yoga still i do not understand sangan tyaktva karmani kuru will that make me a yogi karma yogi so he says what is this yoga he is giving the definition so this is the 
there are many uh, definitions taken by people for yoga from Gita itself but this is the definition and in fact this is the only definition for yoga here others are not really the yoga definition we will see why and when we reach there we will see why they are not really uh, yoga definitions so samatvam yoga uchyate this is the definition lakshana of yoga is what samatvam yoga uchyate samatvam samatva is called as yoga so whatever dvandva he has mentioned earlier nirdvandva become nirdvandva means become a yogi how uh, become equipoised to both both pairs of opposites in whatever pair of opposite you are considering yourself as being in a fix consider both of those in the pair of opposites equally be, be equipoised towards them so whether sukha or dukha try to be equal to both equanimous to both so difficult to do but over a period it will come so he says samatvam yoga uchyate and in your case in the results when you are saying what kind of results should come to you Siddhya Siddhyo Samo Bhutva at least there you start Siddhya Siddhya Siddhyo means what? Siddhi Asiddhi in Siddhi and Asiddhi in success and failure so Siddhya Siddhi Asiddhi will become Siddhya Siddhyo oh. Siddhya Siddhyo ho samo, Samaha Bhutva Samaha Bhutva Saptami Vivachana Towards Samaha equal towards what? Towards both Siddhi and Asiddhi This is Siddhya Siddhi Asiddhyo ho So it's easier to understand Samaha, Samaha Bhutva having remaining, remaining or having become equal to both Siddhi and success and failure and that is what Samattvam, Samaha Bhutva Samattvam, that Samattvam that you will attain Samattvam Yoga Uchyate the samattvam is uh, neuter because samanya, samanya napunsaka but yoga is ghanyanta therefore it has to be pullinga it cannot change so samattvam is called as yoga and what is that samattvam is given for in this case siddhi and asiddhi but in all pairs of opposites if you can become samaha and as a karma yogi for phala what is karma yoga towards results you are equally placed your mind is equally placed towards both Samat, samatva yoga uchyate yat punaha samatva buddhi yuktam ishwar aradhana artham karma uktam etasmat karmanaha so he says yat punaha again yat karma uktam which karma has been mentioned earlier and what is that karma? Ishwara, Ishwara Aradhana Artham for the purpose of worshipping Ishwara. <coughs> Later also in the 18th chapter Bhagavan is going to say that whatever uh, karma you are doing, your, your Varnashrama karma, treat that itself as the worship of the Lord. You don't need to really go to temples, you really don't need to do a lot of, you know, uh, if you can do well and good but you don't need to do any other worship really you don't need to do if you consider your dharma whatever is prescribed as your uh, in your ashrama and uh, varna that itself is the puja of Ishwara because Ishwara is in the form of this prapancha if you can see that and that is your ordained duty if you follow your duty really as puja of Ishwara then you do not need anything else and that karma yoga frees you from all bindings in the long run. So yat punaha samatva buddhi yuktam. That samatva buddhi yuktam means what? Yoga buddhi yuktam. Because samatvam yoga uchyate. Therefore yoga, yoga buddhi yuktam endowed with that bu uh, buddhi of samatva, samatva. Meaning yoga buddhi, karma yoga buddhi 
ईश्वर आराधनार्थम वाई शुड यू डू इट फॉर दि पर्पज ऑफ पूजा टू दि लॉर्ड दैट कर्म इज वॉट एतस्मा कर्मण कंपेर टू दैट कर्म वॉट मीनिंग कंपेर टू कर्म योग दिस इज दीनिंग हियर समत्व बुद्धि युक्त कर्म ईश्वर आराधनार्थम इज वॉट इज कर्म योग दैट कर्म योग कर्म विच यू आर डूइंग विच इज नॉट रियली कर्म एट ऑल बिकॉज यू आर नो लॉन्गर अ कर्ता एंड यू विल नॉट गेट बाउंड फर्दर दूरेण ह्यवर कर्म बुद्धि योग धनंजय बुद्ध शरण मनविच्छ कृपणा फल हेतव एतस्मा कर्मण कंपेर टू दिस कर्म कर्म योग कर्म कर्म रेग्युलर कर्म रेग्युलर कर्म इज वॉट दैट कर्म यू आर डूइंग बट विथ अ फल अपेक्षा दैट आई वॉन्ट दिस रिजल्ट बीइंग अ कर्ता भोक्ता द कर्म दैट यू आर डूइंग दैट ही इज अवर दूरेण ही दूरेण मीन्स बाय ग्रेट डिस्टन्स बियॉन्ड कंपेर यू कैन नॉट कंपेर देम एज इक्वल कर्म एंड कर्म योग आर आर नॉट इवन क्लोज so you see you know not even close completely erroneous so that's the idea when you compare durena durena he indeed undoubtedly he avaram vara is is great avara means it is very uh, what do you say it is uh, it is below in in order it is much much below in the Uh, in the order of what is the what is good karma dure nahi karma avaram avaram buddhi yoga and buddhi yoga here is what the samatva buddhi yoga not jnana yoga this is samatva jnana is also you can take but uh, that is not the meaning here if karma is lesser than karma yoga then obviously it is lesser than jnana also therefore buddhi yoga is if you take jnana that is an obvious meaning because here karma yoga itself is shreshta compared to karma what to talk about jnana that is the idea here buddhi yoga comparative panchami here he dhananjay therefore what buddha samatva buddhi this samatva buddhi yukta yuktam that is the comparison therefore this buddhi word here in the shloka is the meaning that bhashyakara has given in the संगति समत्व बुद्धि योगा इज समत्व बुद्धि योगा मीनिंग कर्म योगा इन कंपैरिजन टू कर्म योगा दिस कर्म विथ एक्सपेक्टेंसी ऑफ रिजल्ट इज अवरा इज दूरेण ही अवरम इट इज मच मच लेसर देर फोर वॉट बुद्ध समत्व बुद्ध शरण अन्विच्छ सो टेक रेफ्यूज टेक रेफ्यूज अन टू अन्विच्छ शरण अन्विच्छ लोटलकार मध्य पुरुष एक वचन कृपणा कृपणा फल हेतव सो दिस इज दि हेतु फॉर दैट फल हेतव कर्म दो डू कर्म वॉट कैंड ऑफ कर्म विथ फल हेतु मा कर्म फल हेतु भू ही सेट सो डू नॉट बिकम दि कॉज फॉर द रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म एंड दैट इज मेन्शन हियर एज दो बिकम दि कॉज फॉर रिजल्ट ऑफ कर्म दे आर फल हेतव दे आर कृपणा कृपणा लिटरल मीनिंग इज माइजर दे आर दे आर माइजरली और दे आर माइजर्स वाई दे आर माइजर एल्सवेर इन आई थिंक बृहदारण्य को उपनिषद आई थिंक गार्गी एंड याज्ञवल के संवाद देर देर ही टेल्स गार्गी ही टेल्स गार्गी दैट फल हेतव नॉट फल हेतव देर कृपणा वर्ड कम्स इन हु इज कृपणा इज डिफाइंड देर one who is born and one who does not is born but he does not struggle to get over this samsara because this manushya janma is to get over this samsara one who born as a manushya does not do that he is called as a miser because he has not used his buddhi at all he is a miser so krupana ha phala hetava ha krupana and why are why is phala hetu person who is phala hetu karma phala hetu and in plural here karma karma phala hetava phala hetava means karma phala hetava why are they krupana here because they are interested in results because they are interested in bhoga of their karma they remain as karta bhokta and they do not attain the purushartha 
because they will not get chitta shuddhi at all. Therefore, jnanotpatti will never happen as long as they remain karma phalahitu. Therefore, they are krupana because they will not cross over samsara. They have not used their buddhi and buddhi yoga they have not done. Samatva buddhi they have not followed. So, uh, buddhi yoga, buddhi yoga, so here you can say buddhi eva yoga, karma dhara you can take as samatva buddhi eva yoga, samatva yoga uchyate, therefore uh, this buddhi is samatva buddhi and samatva buddhi eva yoga, tasmat compared to that buddhi yoga thi, He karma avaram bhavati. And how? Durena. So Durena is adverbial. Durena uh, ad, adverbial to avaram. Durena avaram bhavati. Durena avaram bhavati. He dhananjaya. Therefore, what should you do? He dhananjaya. Buddhav. Here I'll put in bracket samatva buddha. Samatva buddha. Sharanam. Anvichya. So take refuge to unto samatva buddhi. Why? So you can add yataha. Yasmat or yataha. Yataha. Why? Because phala hetavaha. Phala hetavaha krupanaha bhavanti. Don't be like them bhavanti. Samatva buddhi yukta san sarva dharmam anutishthan yat phalam prapnoti tachrunu. So he says samatva buddhi yukta san being endowed with this samatva buddhi karma yoga karma yoga buddhi, what happens? Sarva dharma manutishthan, following, practicing all, not sarva svadharma, sorry, svadharma manutishthan, following one's own varnashrama dharma, what happens? Yat phalam prapnoti, what is the result one will get? As in following one's own varnashrama dharma and offering the results to the Lord, what will, what phala will one get? Touch, listen to that. Buddhi yukto jaha tiha ubhe sukrata dushkrute, Tasmad yogaya yujjasva yoga karma su kaushalam. So he says buddhi yukta. Buddhi na yukta ha buddhi yukta. Tritya tat purusha. Buddhi yukta ha jahati. Ohak tyage dhatu. Jahati gives up. Iha. Here itself. Jahati. One who is buddhi yukta, samatva buddhi yukta, iha ubhe jahati, ubhe is karma, the karma to jahati, ubhe, ubhe sukrata dushkrute. So sukrata dushkrute, dushkrute is in samanadi karanam with ubhe. Both, they give up both Sukruta and Dushkruta. Sukruta is what? Punya. And Dushkruta is Papa. They give up both Punya and Papa. Sukruta is Sushtukruta. What is well done? Well done is what? Punya. And Dushkruta is what? Dushkruta is? Dushkruta is? Papa. Whatever is not done right. As in, whatever is done wrongly. Or whatever should not be done has been done. Tasmat. Yogaya, therefore, this is the reason. Since you will, a person who is following Karma Yoga crosses over Punya and Papa all, both. Meaning what? I don't want to give up Punya if someone says, then he has become a Karta. Therefore, he may get Swarga result or Brahmaloka result or uh, Manushya Janma in a better uh, family. Uh, all those results can come, but basically one will continue in Samsara. Therefore, Punya also is like Papa for a Sadaka. That is the idea Bhashikara says elsewhere. Tasmat, therefore, Tasmat Heto Panchami Yogaya Yujjaswa. So, follow.
for yoga you engage yourself yujjasva lotlakara madhyo purusha ekvachana you join yourself for yoga as in join yourself in in karma for yoga and what is so this is another definition people take for yoga which is not right you will see this in uh, a famous translation english translation you will see this kaushalam kaushalam karmasu uh, yoga karmasu kaushalam yoga is what uh, i think uh, expertise in karma kaushalam is translated as expertise and uh, the definition for yoga this is taken as a second definition but it is not a definition of yoga please be very careful here otherwise there are lot of stories which are built around this to negate uh, to take the wrong meaning and to explain it another way lot of things have uh, gone wrong in uh, many places which has spun off from the orthodox tradition and uh, they take this definition of yoga it is okay um, as a, you know as a general reading someone may say you know karma su kaushalam yoga but then this brings in lot of questions if you take this as a yoga definition he has already defined yoga uh, bhagwan does not need to talk about yoga as a definition again here uh, we'll see what this meaning is here and what is the akanksha by this uh, why this has come in so buddhi yukta buddhina yukta buddhi yukta tritiya tatpurusha jahati gan gives up so uh, बुद्धि युक्ता सो बुद्धि युक्ता इस हु कर्मयोगी 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 यह उभे सुकृता दुष्कृते जहाती एंड देवरफॉर तस्मात सो यू कैन ऐड यस्मात हियर फॉर क्लैरिटी यस्मात बुद्धि युक्त कर्मयोगी इह सुकृत दुष्कृते जहाती तस्मात सो हियर हिर्न कॉम तस्मात योगाय युजस्व देर फोर मे यू जॉइन दिस एक्टिविटी फॉर योगा फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ योगा मे यू डू दैट एंड वाई बिकॉज वन हु one who is kushala in yoga uh, one who is karma one who follows yoga sir rather one who let me tell you this is a definite karma su yoga ha kaushalam bhavati you will become an expert so it is not that a, a, an expert in karma is yogi it is the other way around a person who follows yoga in karma is kushala that is the meaning here किम नाम कौशल दट इज आकांक्षा हियर वॉट इज वॉट इज एक्सपर्ट इज बी एन एक्सपर्ट वॉट इज एक्सपर्ट इज एक्सपर्ट इज इज वन हू योग कर्म सु योग कौशल उच्यते और कौशल और उच्यते हियर यू कैन से उच्यते ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट्स अ डेफिनेशन ऑफ वॉट ऑफ कौशल किम नाम कौशल वॉट इज दिस कौशल द थिंकिंग ऑफ हाउ कैन आई बिकम एन एक्सपर्ट by becoming a yogi you will become an expert so this is the definition of expertise with an akanksha it is answered that how can become how can i become an expert or what is expertise this is so people who try to be experts in everything pravinyam in everything they want to do good the best at see they say be the best at whatever you do so whatever you are doing how do you become a best the best at that because should not be nowadays in worldly activities you have to be result oriented because everything is tied up to results so merit uh, performance based uh, this thing uh, promotion ityadi however in the adhyatma what will work when will you become an expert when you give up the results and give up the results means what I stop defining the result as it has to be this way it has to be that way be equipoised towards both success and failure you do your duty well that because that is all that you have control over up to a great extent on results you have absolutely no control therefore you will become an expert what is expert when you be, follow this expertise and what is that expertise karma su yoga meaning what karma su samatva buddhi you replace mathematically replace what is yoga 
samatvam yoga ucchate earlier he has said samatvam so karmasu samatvam meaning karmasu yoga means what karmasu samatvam kaushalam ucchate so that is what is the way to become an expert in everything you become indifferent to results stop defining the result thereby you will become kushala yasmat and since he says yasmat karma jam buddhi yukta hi phalan tyaktva manishinah janma bandha vinirmukta padam gachantya namayam karma jam buddhi yukta buddhi yukta ha buddhi yukta ha बुद्धि युक्ता हा प्रथमा बहुवचन ही भलम त्यक्तवा सो गोष्ट फॉर त्यक्तवा इट्स कर्मा देवरफॉर इन द्वितीय एक वचन है मनीषिना मनीषा अस्ति अस्ति इति मनीषिना मनीषा इज बुद्धि वन हु हैज बुद्धि इज अ मनीषी एंड मनीषिना इन प्लूरल मनीषा अस्ति अस्ति इति अस्यार इन प्लूरल ये शाम ते मनीषिना कर्मा जम बुद्� what kind of phalam? Phalam is in dvitiya ek vachana and it is in samadhi karan with karma jam. Karma jam phalam. Karma jam is what? Karma naha jatam. Born due to karma. Karma naha jatam in panchami. It's panchami jatam. Karma naha jatam is born from karma. Therefore panchami tat purusha. कर्मणा जातम कर्मजा तम तम कर्मजम फलम और हियर इट कैन बी तत बिकॉज फला इज इन न्यूटर देर फला इज न्यूटर देर फलम कर्मजम फलम तत फलम दिस तत इज बिकॉज इट इज इन सेकेंड केस दैट्स वाई तत बुद्धि उक्ता हा मनीषिणा हा those who are engaged with samatva bhava, buddhi yuktaha manishinaha, those who are intelligent, manishinaha, what about them? Karma jam, phalam, tyaktva, what do they do? Finally, gachanti, gachanti, here you can see gachanti, Anamayam padam gachanti. So gachanti is a verb in plural. The karma is padam. They reach a particular goal. Which goal? Anamayam. Anamayam. See, amaya, amaya is a disease. Disease or dukkha. And anamayam is what? Nanj. Na amayam, anamayam. So anamayam padam means that pada which is free from dukkha. And who are these? They are Janma Bandha Vinir Mukta. They are completely free. Vinir Mukta Visheshena Nir Mukta. Nir Mukta means completely free. And Vinir Mukta means what? In the, free in that manner that they will never come back again. Because they have given up the phala. If you give up the phala, then you have stopped becoming a bhokta. You don't want to be a bhokta. And slowly once you understand that you are... You, you, you don't have to give up also because that karma is not yours anyway. You have been claiming to be a karta, therefore you are a bhokta. You give up both and therefore that jnanotpatti which this karma yoga facilitates, once that takes place, then you will be completely free from uh, so vinir mukta, meaning that you will never be born again. Therefore janma bandha vinir mukta, free from bandha of janma, janma eva bandha, janma bandha and then Janma bandha vinir mukta. Janma bandhe na vinir mukta. Tritiya tat purusha here. Or panchami also. Bandhat vinir mukta. Bandha panchami will work better I think. So karma dharaya first. And then panchami tat purusha. Free from. Free from what? Mukta. Free from vinir mukta. From bandhat vinir mukta. And tyaktva what happens? Therefore. जन्म बंध विनिर्मुक्ता 
मुक्ता सन् सत सत इन प्लूरल सत अनामय पदम गच्छन्ति दिस इज द रीजन सो यस्मात ही सेड हियर ही सेड यस्मात एंड सिंस यस्मात और ड्यू टू दिस सो यस्मात कारणात आल्सो ड्यू इट यू कैन टेक ड्यू टू व्हिच रीजन व्हाट हैपेंस बुद्धि युक्ताः मनीषिणः कर्मजं फलं त्यक्त्वा जन्म बंद विनिर्मुक्ता संतः अनामयं पदम गच्छन्ति दिस इज द रीजन यू शुड डू कर्म विल सी दी नेक्स्ट श्लोक इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ शांति 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 एनी क्वेश्चंस ये साधन वर्णाश्रम धर्म फॉर यू टू डू If you do not do, then you will get pratyavaya dosha. Mm. If you do them, what additional phala will you get? Pratyavaya, removing pratyavaya itself is their job. There is no no other job. Okay. Actually, let's say if I say that okay, I am doing sandhya on dana, I want swarga or I want dhana, I will not get. That karma is not meant for that. Even if I do sankalpa, I will not get it. therefore nitya nimittika karma can really never become kamya karma in terms of results that they'll give but if you claim it then what happens is that you become karta bhokta you take yourself as an individual you are a karta you say that i have done it therefore pratyavaya should not accrue to me okay well and good it will not accrue to you but it will not make you free from janma it will give chitta shuddhi if you offer the results to the lord therefore when he says that uh, he explains that and he says if you follow that then eh abhikrama nasha nasti and pratyavaya na vidyate so he says that there will be uh, there is, you will not be uh, that chitta shuddhi that you want you will you will get so therefore that chitta shuddhi will not be lost on you and there is no side effect side effect in pratyavaya when does pratyavaya come when you don't do your duty but you are doing your duty therefore main meaning is what pratyavaya main meaning is is applying here However, Bhaskara takes an additional meaning, and he says that chikit savat. He says chikit savat means uh, if you make a mistake in medication, then it will have a side effect. But here you cannot go wrong because this is not a, uh, and this is not necessarily only uh, nitya ne mitika. He says you say kamya also if you do. Let's say you do kamya karma. Why do you do kamya karma? Because for some circumstances you may be needed to do kamya karma, but you don't care for it. You do it as a duty because you are in that position. You are supposed to. Let's say for a for a king, he has to do that duty. It is a duty, but he does not want anything from that. Then what will happen? The results will come. Therefore, abhikrama nasha will not be there. He will get the results, but he himself does not want it. Therefore, uh, the results will go to the society. Whoever wants it, he will get chitta shuddhi. Therefore, pratyavaya no vidya te means what? If he makes some mistakes there, then the result will lessen. But there will be no side effect. He will not get any papa due to that. 
but it should be taken with uh, uh, not with kamya uh, karma completely it should be taken with nitya vitti karma alone but if you make some mistakes also since you did not want uh, some result from that even in uh, uh, some small kamya karma uh, actually see uh, uh, पूर्व मीमांसक से दैट इवन नित्य नैमित्य का कर्म सिंस द रिजल्ट आर नॉट मेंशन दे विल गिव द रिजल्ट ऑफ स्वर्ग सो दैट वे यू से व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट लेट स्टे से द रिजल्ट इज स्वर्ग एंड यू मेड सम एरर्स एंड यू नेवर वांटेड स्वर्ग देन यू विल नॉट गेट स्वर्ग इज ऑलराइट यू यू हैव नो इश्यूज देयर देयरफॉर चित्त शुद्धि दैट यू वांटेड यू विल गेट and there is no side effect to that as in instead of uh, uh, wanting uh, uh, swarga you have given up swarga therefore instead of getting some papa in the karma that you have done you will not get papa at all therefore pratyavayana vidyate there is no side effect also okay okay so okay so this word pratyavaya has to be taken in this context specifically as side effect uh, you can and not as... meaning see main meaning anyway applies but bhashyak see the bhashyakara uh, bin bhashyakara the idea is that whatever more he can bring out he'll bring so if you take pratyavaya as pratyavaya itself so which is all right but that that's an understood meaning anyway since you are doing karma yoga you, and you, let's say nitya naimitika karma you are doing then anyway pratyavaya will not come why is it specifically needed to be said here therefore bhashyakara brings an additional meaning he says that pratyavayana vidyate is understood he wants to give something more out of it saying that there is no chikitsa avat there is no side effect otherwise see chikitsa avat why does he say chikitsa avat if you take medication then anyway uh, i mean ayurvedic not allopathic medication even uh, done, taken rightly it may have side effect but dosage changes something happens in ayurveda also it may have a side effect although they say ayurvedic does not have a side effect side effect it does not have meaning what in the right proportion right way it's taken it does not have a side effect and for the right patient someone cannot take another's medication and ati sarvatra varjayet if someone overdoses then obviously there will be a side effect but that kind of a thing is not he- possible here because you have given up your kartrutva and bhoktrutva therefore how will pratyavaya come to you how will side effect come to you at all it will not come because you have not claimed the karma at all you are just saying that ishwara is i don't want anything even the result will be you are saying that you are offering to the lord that's why there, there is no pratyavaya as in there is no side effect that additional meaning is given by bhashyakara okay 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 anything else this word chikitsa avat has he explained it before itself because just one word chikitsa avat doesn't like it's just one that's word that's why right? sampradaya that's why okay. see it's a living tradition it has to be learned from the sampradaya because see, it's not uh, if you go to tikas there may be more meanings also uh-huh. there are okay. there are tikas on this also but then it is this is how it is uh, taught in the sampradaya chikitsa see otherwise what is chikitsa or pratyavaya does pratyavaya itself has nothing to do with chikitsa pratyavaya is a technical word for karma and pratyavaya is understood by purva mimamsa as differently and refuted by uttar mimamsa what is pratyavaya as per purva mimamsa pratyavaya as per purva mimamsa is that dosha which is a positive papa which will accrue to a person if he does not do his nitya naimittika karma prescribed for his varnashrama now if you say pratyavaya which is a positive effect will come from an, a zero non performance of something then it is equivalent to saying that something has come out of nothing this is logically impossible otherwise we'll have no argument with shunyavadis who says that entire prapancha has come from shunya mm. so we argue with them with pura vimamsa uttar vimamsa ridicules this says that we agree that pratyavaya dosha is there because uh, shruti talk about it pratyavaya dosha will accrue to a person however what is that prati- it is not a positive uh, which has come from a from a non existent karma non existent karma cannot give any result so we say that pratyavaya dosha is that particular dosha 
which you have already earned in PAPA. It is PAPA that you have earned and which is lying in your account, which is supposed to fructify today. If you do not do your Nitya Naimitika Karma, then that PAPA which is going to fructify today will fructify. That is Pratyavaya Dusha. Mm. Otherwise, if you do Nitya Naimitika Karma, then that Pratyavaya is, Dosha is countered by yours. Your meaning your earlier Papa, which was supposed to fructify today, is countered by your doing Nitya Naimitika Karma today. And since it has countered, that Dosha will not accrue to you. Means that Papa will not fructify, which you already earned through some karma. So it is not something which will, you will get from not doing something. It is actually not not doing something will not give you any new punya which is going to counter that earlier papa. Therefore, lack of that punya will cause the earlier papa to act. That is technically what pratyava is. Now, what is the pratyava in chikitsa? There is no pratyava in chikitsa. Chikitsa in treatment, what is pratyavaya? Therefore, that pratyava has to be understood that way. Chikitsa what means a side effect. Like, side, what is the side effect? Earlier papa is, see, today you have not done any papa, but some papa result will come to you. It is like a side effect, right? You, mm. for, for, for a person uh, who has limited uh, buddhi, who does not understand any how karma works, for him, there are people right who say that I didn't do anything, but then no, I th this is something that happened to me. Or you hear mothers, you know, very often, why did th did this happen to my child? He didn't do anything. He didn't do any harm to anyone, but still, some why? It is a, it is like a side effect, you know. This person is just going on the road, and something some work is going on elsewhere, and then something falls on his uh, leg or hand or whatever, and uh, he is hurt. That's a side effect of something which is happening elsewhere, but. That's what we think. Factually, what is it? It is a side effect now, but it is really an effect from earlier. So, Chikitsavat Pratyava is that side effect of the medication, which actually you earned. We have earned that side effect by doing some wrong karma earlier, which will fructify today. Therefore, Pratyavaya, in main, main meaning also, you can see that how Bhashyakara brings that meaning can be seen if you analyze a little. And mm -hmm. that's how the Sampradaya explains it. If you take the main meaning also, it is fine. It will just be something which uh, Bhagavan has said and assuming that we did not know what Pratyavaya is. For people who know Pratyavaya, they will inquire why did Bhagavan talk about Pratyavaya when we already know what Pratyavaya is. Therefore, you have to give additional meaning and then uh, something mm -hmm. more can be brought about in Bhashyas and Tikas. I have not looked up the Tika because uh, I like the explanation there itself. I have not seen the Tika. But Tika may have multiple, many more meanings also may be possible. Okay. Because Bhashyakara says only this much. Si chikitsavat pratyavaya na api chikitsavat pratyavaya vidyate bhavati. That's all he says, chikitsavat. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Anything else? So there is a, uh, see, Pratyavaya dictionary meanings are an obstacle, impediment, danger, contrary or opposite course. So these are all side effects, right? Contrary or opposite course. You can take a better uh, translation. I like this uh, side effect because it, especially in allopathic uh, uh, world like today, it makes more sense. So there are uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, translations, you may find something better in the dictionary, you can use those or stick to the main meaning. Yes, Bhavya. Uh, in this uh, last shloka that we did, the 51st, huh. Karmajam buddhi, buddhi yukta hi phalam tyakva manishinaha. Yeah. The manish, manishinaha uh, can it be taken as Manishinaha Janma Bandha Vinir Muktaha? Because Jnaninaha Janma Bandha Vinir Muktaha, not Karma Yoginaha. Uh, so uh, the reason I took it is you can take it, but then uh, uh, Bhashyakara says that Manisha need not be the final uh, Manisha, need not be Jnana. So here the context is Buddhi Yoga, right? There is Karma mm -hmm. Buddhi. There Buddhi Yoga also Jnana you can take. 
but then there is an extended meaning. If you look at Sibhashya, which sloka is that? 51, right? Hmm. 51. So, uh, it's possible, but what does Bhashyakara say? See, he says, uh, See, Manishinaha Jnani no Bhutva Parityaja. Okay, Asmati Phalam Tektva Parityaja Jnani no Bhutva Janma Bandha Vinirukta Janma Yo Bandha Janma Bandha Tena Vinirukta Jeevanta Yo Janma Bandha. Yeah, so it's an extended meaning. He takes, uh, so Jnani no Bhutva also you can take. Uh, Samatta Buddhyukta Santahi Asmat Phalam Tektva Parityaja Manishinaha. So, but you have to extend the meaning as Jnana takes place after Chitta Shuddhi, not directly by uh, this Samatta Buddhi. Hmm. There were. But we have, you can take it either way, Manishina, Bhutva. So is, there you have to add, see, Bhutva. Now he has mm-hmm. added, uh, there is no Bhutva word here. You will have to add that. So Tyaktva, if you say, if you say Manishina, Janma Bandha, Vinir Muktaha. So you have to add Bhutva here or you can say Manishina, Janma Bandha. Both are possible, but then uh, how Manishina and Janma Bandha, Vinir Muktaha go hand in hand is a little difficult to add. Because Janda, Janma Bandha Vinir Mukta is the result. So if you add a, uh, in uh, Samana Dikranim here itself, then you will not get an Anvaya unless you add Bhutva. Hmm. Uh, see, we said Buddhi Yukta Manishina. So Buddhi Yukta Manishina, I took it with Karma Yoga uh, because I took this as Viveka. Manisha is Viveka there. But if you take a Jnana, Karma jam phalam chaktva. So here also it, jnana meaning can be there. Need not be buddhi yukta and then manishina. Manishina, both buddhi yukta, manishina, san. Santa. Karma jam mm-hmm. phalam chaktva, janma bandha vinir mukta, santa, anamayam padam gachanti. Now if you take manishina here, manishina, janma bandha vinir mukta, santa, will not work there because janma, you will have to add bhutva again here. Mm-hmm. You can take either way. The meaning will not change. It's just that finally the result is this. How is that uh, through a sequence? Buddhi yukta here, buddhi also. We can say the buddhi is jnana here. It is not jnana. It is a context of karma yoga. Therefore, uh, samatva buddhi yukta ha manishina ha karma jam phalam tyaktva janma bandha vinir mukta santa anamayam padam gachanti. Or you can say uh, samatva buddhi yukta ha karma jam phalam tyaktva manishina ha bhutva Janma Bandha Vinir Mukta Santa Anamayam Padam Gachanti. You will have to add Bhutva. You can add that as a another Anvaya, which is actually a better meaning because you are giving the stages. So only thing mm-hmm. is that you have to add a word Bhutva. Just like we added Santa being those. So Bhutva, same meaning as Santa, Bhutva. Because this is from Bhashyakara. You can add this is a better Anvaya, obviously. Okay, anything else? Uh, this, what is the Dhatu in Anvicha? Uh, I think issue. Issue Ichaya. Issue Ichaya. Let me check. Anu and Ichha, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. Anvicha. Anvicha. Issue Ichaya. Anupurvaka Ishu Ichayam. What does Bhashyakara say for that uh, better meaning on which uh, Prartha is what a meaning will be there. Where is, uh, uh, which, which Luka is that? 49. See, Prarthayaswa, Anvicha Prarthayaswa. Difficult to translate words, you know, Anvicha, Icha, you know, desire. Desire for this means what? Just because you desire, you won't get. So, Prarthayaswa, you pray for it. Buddha, Sharanam, Anvicha, you pray, pray for that kind of a refuge. See, Prarthayaswa also. Well, finally, this is also not giving the meaning. Therefore, Bhashyakara says, Paramartha, Jnana, Sharano, Bhavityartha. He says that Sharanam and Anvicha, together you will have to translate. That's why I said that. Take refuge. Sharanam Anvicha is take refuge. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. Prarthayaswa. Now Anvicha is Prarthayaswa. But Sharanam Prarthayaswa meaning what? Pray for uh, refuge. Does not make, bring out that meaning unless you understand each word separately. And then when you put together, the meaning does not come out. Therefore he says Sharanam Anvicha means what? Finally it will mean Paramartha Jnana Sharano Bhava This is the meaning of 
both of these, Sharanam and Vichya, mm-hmm. this entire mm-hmm. thing. So fi- always look at what Bhashyakara gives the meaning and in the end he will sum up if, if it is still not clear. Generally he does that, if not then we have to go to Tika. See, see Sharanam also is what? Ash, uh, ashrayam. Sharanam is Ashrayam. What is that? Abhaya Prapti Karanam. So Sharanam and Vichya means what? Why should you do that? So he adds a Hetu Garva Visheshana. Abhaya Prapti Karanam and Vichya. And what does Anvichya mean? So, Abhaya Prapti Karanam Pratheswa. That is the meaning of Sharanam Anvichya. And in the end, he says that Paramartha Jnana Sharano Bhavaityartha. So, take refuge into knowledge. Finally, in the Paramatma knowledge. Okay? Yeah. Anything else? Anyone else? Okay. So, I will see you in the next part. Namaste. Huh?